Thank you for listening to Lone Star Community Radio. This program was broadcasted and recorded live from the LSCR studios in downtown Conroe, Texas. Lone Star Community Radio is supported by listeners like you. Donate and sponsor today. For more information on getting involved with Lone Star Community Radio, contact us at lscrstudios at gmail.com or visit us online at www.irlonestar.com. Welcome to the Texas Ticket. This is Armando, and I'm with Karen the Connector. What's up, Karen? How are you? Fantastic. That's your color. You look great. Yeah, you like it? Yeah. It's like a mustardish yellow. You got your badge on. Tarek Karen the Connector. Oh, yeah. Brand ambassador for Texas yeah. title. Being professional. Today. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Well, um, you know, we have a lot going on today, a lot going on this weekend. Uh, July is just full of happenings from July 4th celebrations yep. all the way to... Uh, you know, just summer highlight reel. I mean, it, it happens in July. Yeah, today's the first sure. day of summer. Is it really? Yeah. The first does that make it the? Day. Does that make it like the? Uh, what's the the hippie name for it? The uh, the the solstice. Uh, I don't like the summer solstice. No, ma- that's I not guess, today. I guess so. Uh, they, we're close though. That uh, longest day uh, of yeah. the year, I think. I think well, yeah, it did pass a couple of days ago. I guess. Might have. Might have. Anyway. But uh, it's it's very hot. Yeah. It's yeah. uh, we're going we're expecting two weeks straight uh uh after today uh hundreds hundreds plus mm-hmm. triple digits yeah find some well, water and we're heating it up here on the texas ticket i mean we're you see what i did there i like it yeah we're gonna heat it up right here and and we're <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're uh uh we're, we're blessed to have a great show it lined up and with great things in it and that make me feel like you know it might yeah. end up pretty good i'm you excited know? we got bill mason and roy Kreger with us today yes, and and uh and and celebrating uh bill's birthday uh you know and and the dos yeah. has got his real party going on over there oh yeah the floor country it's store fun. but i don't know if i'm gonna make it out that's a long way so we just asked bill if he'd come here Four and hours. drink a lot of beer with us and let us celebrate with him and celebrate early and we got the texas outlaw tap truck Ooh. i'm not even not sure if i'm saying that correctly you ubered they do used to do Ubers and beers, and you there were some legalities. Here, right? Yeah. Oh no, I left, left. You left, but there was some legalities yeah. about taking passengers in the beer car. Oh. They said you could take the passenger to beer, but you couldn't get beer till you got there. But then they'd stop everywhere just so you could get a beer. And anyway, it didn't work out. That sounds you know? complicated. Yeah. Well, you know, I mean, for the guests, I think they just ended up stopping a lot. Yeah. You know, and then the drivers were always like trying to be a good host about it. You know. Yeah. Difficult. So now they just park so at events. now they just park in events and serve you beer and it's cold they have beer. Water, sodas, oh, you name it, come cool. out of the side of this thing. Lemonade, draft root beer, and just all kinds of stuff. Wow. Anyway, I want to learn more about that too. But more importantly, I want to get this show started so we can talk to, uh, I guess, one of our most premier guests that we've had and premier families of musicians that, that mean a lot to our, to Texas and to Texas me. music. Yeah. And, and to you, Karen. Yeah. And, 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 I, and I know a lot of the, the root core. So I want to get this this show started with the Craigers. And and I, guys, I am so glad to have all of you here. And, and I, I can't tell you um, how excited we're about all the pieces and parts to, to the whole show. And I know I'm not the first person to say the Craiger family was as attractive as Roger Craiger, or Bill Craiger's, uh, uh, Ayan Rancho Grande. You know what I mean? Uh, or <laughs> hey, baby, kept us so. You know, I, I think that the family, it, it's it's musical history and, and what it's done here in Texas is is, is pioneer a lot of a lot of other country music families in our area. And For sure. and Bill, happy birthday! Thank you, man. I'm Thank glad you you're here man. on the show today. <laughs> um, I know you're ex Green Beret, right? Yeah. That means you probably kick everybody in this room's ass. Uh, I used to be a <laughs> yeah, mean, probably. mean, green killing machine. <laughs> oh, <laughs> <laughs> I believe it. Yeah, that, that's what I've heard. Now, now he's just a ball of fun. <laughs> <laughs> Blessed to be a ball of fun. And 89 years old on July 3rd. That's up. right. Yes, sir. I can't that's believe right. it. <clears throat> right. And I'm told you're one of the best uh, a show, show stealers on, in the country. Well, uh, you, you know, uh, my son Roger will get up there and work his butt off for an hour and a half, and then he calls me up on the stage for three minutes, <laughs> and I steal the show. For sure. <laughs> Everybody goes Every crazy. Time. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I, I know we have uh, Mason Craig. Now, now, Mason, 
I've seen a lot of stuff coming out of your department and, and leading music groups and, and uh, like the Gulf Coast Drifters last year did one of their first albums they put out. And uh, and then your own private career as well. And then working with your brother and everybody else in the fam. And just, it doesn't stop family related, does it? It doesn't. It doesn't. It, it's, uh, it's a beautiful thing to be a part of. Honestly, I'm blessed to, to grow up with, with Grandpa and, and uh, to grow up watching Roger. It's, it's surreal at some times, but it's, it's fun. I enjoy it. Cool. And, and, and your mom, too, right? And my mom. It comes from both sides of the Really? Family. Mom plays? Mom's into music? She was before Roger. She was. Yeah, she... Uh, Tell me a little bit about her. She um, she was a heck of a songwriter, in fact. Country? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Country style. She has a lot of different influences, but she was very... Uh, she was always the one to bring the creativity out of me, and because and, she just... Uh, she she likes to think about things in a different perspective, and, and I bring a song to her, I say, hey, I got half of it written and she says lay it down and then we'd write finish a song and Bam, so that's there you just, go. it's just the way that she is and so yeah so a lot of people know Crager from Roger Crager obviously but sure. I definitely get it from both sides and 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 Roy's your dad Roy Crager welcome yeah. to the show Roy thank and, and I'm you. glad you're here make sure you talk with this guy so they can hear you thank you Roy, thank you I, I know you were a surprise uh, guest for, for for Mason and, and Bill and to come spend some time with everybody uh, uh, I'm glad you made it out. I am too. Me too. Man, that's awesome. And and uh, while you were growing up, were was country one of your influences? Are Absolutely. you from Texas originally? Absolutely. Is this your yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Good. Uh, well, that's fantastic because I was blind asking. So I mean, if you told me I like disco and know I'm from you know Oregon, I, I might have felt like that would have been a bad question. So that's uh, when the Green Beret. Good, would have yeah, hundred percent Texan, and yeah, it's always <laughs> been no country. Disco. Yeah, that's good answers. You know, that, that's a way to put that. But um, Mason, set it off. Set it off. Give us a little something, something. Yeah. Um, Tell I, us about it. I. I uh, I've grown up, like I said, around the music scene, and, and it's it's been something, it's been a, a burning passion of mine. It's something that I feel most comfortable doing uh, a lot of the times. There's, you know, a lot of people have questions, you know, how do you do it on stage, you know, in front of all the people, and I'll be real honest, that's that's a point in time where I'm most comfortable is, is because I'm getting to play music and songs that I like and, and or wrote and... and uh, so it's something that I, I I truly believe is is ingrained in me. I uh, I did grow up with a lot of Texas country and and but you know I know he says Texas country is our roots, but I grew up listening to a lot of rock and roll, classic rock as well. And and uh, he would tell me about a lot of the concerts he would go see from the Scorpions. Yeah, we to have better rock and roll in our age. And, <laughs> and you know, so I really got to to appreciate a lot of the oldies, I guess, if you would if you would. Whatever. And it's. Uh, <laughs> And but anyways, but it's still it's still relevant to today, and and so I I think my style is is a, a little bit of mix of, of Texas country and a little bit of rock and roll. Oh yeah, and, and there you I, go. I just like playing yeah. and writing songs that I enjoy, and and that's what it's about at the end of the day. Feel good music. Yeah. I, I gotta I gotta say something. Whenever he was probably thirteen years old, you know, we went we found this thing called Guitar Hero. They used to oh sell, yeah. They used to sell them at Sam's. So. Celeste and I bought him one, brought it home, and he started learning how to do it and the whole thing. The next thing you know, he he earned some money and he bought his first, you know, Stratocaster. You know, mm. he's playing. And so I'd come home from work, you know, just having one of them days, and I'd go in his room, I'd just sit on the floor, and I'd say, you know, play a little bit of Tom Petty, play a little bit of, you know, Stevie Ray, do a little some bit Prince. of something. And that just made my day. That's outstanding. And, uh, and then, of course, <laughs> you know, his mom would say, well, you know, the electric guitar is wonderful, but you know, the acoustic guitar is where it's at. So he picked mm. it up at that point, and, you know, the rest is history. Yeah. That's awesome. Why don't you play a little something for us? Yep. Did you, did you, were you prepared to Absol- do a little something? Absolutely. Man, that'd be great. Absolutely. <coughs> he plays the best version of Purple Rain I've ever heard, ever. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Yeah, and you saw him last where? You, last summer, he opened for Roger at Green Hall. For, at Green Hall it was here in Texas. for Roger's birthday. That is the oldest yeah. dance hall in Texas out in a Green, Texas, which is right on the New Bronzefields, you know, on the river yes. there. And it's and a, a stone's throw. Great wine visitation. Right. Great, good, beautiful area. I didn't know who he out. was. I'm like, who's this kid singing? And then he started singing Purple Rain, and me and my husband are tearing up. And... Uh, they're like, oh, that's Roger's nephew. I'm like, which nephew? I know his nephews. And I'm like, oh, my gosh. That kid 
The kid? The kid. <laughs> the kid. The kid. He was a teenager the last time I saw him or remember seeing him. So yeah, it was it was pretty incredible to was you know you see him all grown up and so talented and it. What, what song you be playing for us, Mace? I'm I'm gonna play a song actually since we got my grandpa here. It's it's one of the funnest songs I think I recorded on the album because I got to I got to put myself in his shoes for for a little bit and and kind of think about you know, one of the sayings that he lives by. And if you know Bill Crager, he's got a saying, he says, I didn't have to work today. And, and honestly, it's, it, it's a, it's a fun saying, but it's just to know the, the background that he's come from, you know, the things that yeah. he's dealt with and seen and, and then to, to be such a carefree person in, in this stage of his life is, is something I think I envy and, and a lot of people around it just appreciate, you know, how happy of a person he can be. And uh, so I just wanted to put myself in those shoes for a little bit and write a song. So naturally, it's called I Didn't Have to Work Today. Um, Ladies and gentlemen, yeah, Mason I Craig, didn't work I didn't have to work today. <laughs> <laughs> funny, funny story about this song is I, uh, on the record, I, the song starts with, with a voicemail. And everybody's like, who is that? And I said, that's Bill. You know, it's called <laughs> Bill's song on the on the record. And and it's it's uh, something like, hey, this is Crager. Uh, leave a message. I'll call you back if I like you. And uh, everybody just freaks out on that. And and so, uh, just speaks to speaks to him. And so I, I I wanted to write a fun little song. So it's, this one's called I Didn't Have to Work Today. I'm coming up I'm settling down Been a long night of drinking And coming unwound There was a time I'd have hell to pay oh, But I don't mind because I, I didn't have to work today Maybe head up to Green Catch a show at the hall Take a float down the river Start climbing a wall or Go it a line Out on Galveston Bay I'm feeling just fine Because I I didn't have to work today Kick my boots off to go out some waves. I got my buddies, old Jose and Jim, and they love sharing with all my friends. Take a drive across the borderline, no destination, just killing time. I follow this road wherever it leads, like a feather floating in the no, I don't care what tomorrow's got to say Cause I didn't have to work today It's a little shortened down version of that song yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's why you go listen to Mason Kruger <laughs> His voice <laughs> That'll do it yeah. Incredible Yeah, absolutely <laughs> so, And You've got something coming up. Uh, you, you, we're, we're, and and it's in that spice of bringing the whole family together. Other than the Lafleur store birthday, well, we're going to talk about this second, Bill. But you've got something coming up, Mason. That uh, I, I know the whole family's coming out to you and Roger are going to be there right. over at Crystal Beach. Yep. Yeah. Tell us Crystal a little bit Beach. about that yeah. uh, coming up on on August fifth. We'll be at Crystal Beach, Camp Margaritaville. It's going to be a, 
a great show. The last show I actually played with Roger was at, at Green Hall, and, and I, I look forward to these shows because, you know, Roger is, you know, regardless of whether he's family or not, he's always been a, a huge inspiration of mine, the way that he... Uh, sure the way that he can just lead a stage and, and just captivate a crowd has always been just spectacular. So anytime I can yeah. share a stage with Roger Crager, you know, is, is uh, even though I share his last name, I still get giddy. I still get excited. So, yeah. uh, so I'm looking Me forward too. to that one. I've seen him so many times. And every time I go to his show, people are like, aren't you tired of this? I'm like, no, especially when Bill comes on. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm like hooting and hollering and – I, I'm a two-stepper. I like to dance, so I like to get out yeah. there and start stepping. And you know, I listen to the other sit-down country music when I sit down and you know drink my beer, hang out, mm-hmm. socialize a bit. There's songs that are for that, you know. Then there's songs for, you know, dancing, hitting the yeah. floor. You know, that's yeah. a different song, but they're that's both it. country. That's it. Yeah. I wouldn't even cl- I'd classify them different kinds of country. You know, there's there's the beer drinking country, then there's the two-stepping country, and then there's the well, this is dancing country, and it's jumping up and down country. Yeah. We get started. But we, <laughs> <laughs> and there's that. Yeah, there's there's got to be some other genres Well, to there's country. nothing like, you know, like in Green Hall, the, the floor is wood. So when you stomp oh, on yeah. that floor, <laughs> it's, it makes this incredible it's sound. nostalgic. Yes. It is. And you got to go to Lukenbach on a Friday night, you know. Oh, yeah. Hit that dance we floor. did his Speaking birthday at Lukenbach. Was that when was that? that Two years no, ago? This year, last year was. Was it yeah, last I played, year? I played at that one. Yeah. that's when I played at Lucas. Yeah. yeah, we he, were down there all in the winter, and they <coughs> let us. Uh, yeah, it was closed. You know what I mean? Say so they had this one room where it was this that little you know, the little outside bar out there in the yeah. near the river. There, they had that little hot burning stove in the center. We just sit around out there, and some guy would be playing a banjo. Yeah, I'm like how long has he been doing this? Since ten <laughs> o'clock when we opened, was anybody here? No. no. One of the locals. <laughs> it's like, the, no, nobody. Yeah. Not even the locals. Like, he starts at 10 o'clock whether anybody's here or not. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Not, seriously? All the time? Monday and Tuesdays. Yeah. Like, okay. Okay. <laughs> all right. He just starts. You know? It just goes. Uh, and, and Bill... A ninth birthday party. Tell us what's happening. What's going on there? Are you singing? Are you performing out there with, uh, on your birthday? I am. I am. Um, <clears throat> let me tell you how... All of this stuff got started. Yeah. <laughs> uh, last year, we had Lukenbach and Corpus Christi. That's right. Wanting to do my birthday bash. That was the year before last. They were, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, that's right. Okay. And uh, <clears throat> so the guys that do the book, and he says, why don't we just, why don't we just do both of them? He's 88, <laughs> one for each eight. Yeah. Well... That carried over into this year. <laughs> and so now we're going to be in Corpus Christi and Floors Country Store this year. So now you're doing two every year. Yeah. And I don't I'm know so when excited. this two thing is going to quit, but it's going to <laughs> it's, it's going. I think Tanya Tucker's playing right before you, the, uh, uh, right after. Uh, I, I, she's out there at LaFleur Country Store, I, I believe. That same Who's that? Week. Tanya Tucker. Oh, she was there yesterday. I yesterday. Think. All yeah. right, there it was. Yeah, yeah that's the one. But she's yeah. not as good as Bill. No. No. <laughs> For a girl. Yeah. <laughs> she does all right. You know, there was somebody asked me the so day, much what, fun. What is Tony so Tucker's So it got started, and how did it originally get started? Even the number one. Like, when did y'all start doing your birthday? Oh, well, Mama okay, did the number uh, one. When Roger was recording the CD, <clears throat> he hadn't learned the words to the second verse of that Rancho Rancho Grande. Grande. So I was asked to go to the booth and record it, you know, and just <laughs> do it. It says, and then we'll we'll dub his voice in later, you know, and we're good. Well, they didn't do that. <laughs> they left the thing on the record. So we're they tricked you. Yeah, yeah. We're we're in Tin Hall. My my son is there, <laughs> and this guy, <laughs> Tequila Dave, <laughs> he mm. comes up and he grabs me from behind. Oh Lord. <clears throat> and, <laughs> <laughs> Him and his buddies carry me right in front of the microphone where Roger's playing. And they started chanting, Rancho, Rancho. It's, oh, my God. My oh. eyes got about this big. And, and Roger's throat was going, oh, my God. <laughs> oh, and my no. son was sitting over there wondering, what is going on? And so that's how it got started. How long ago was that? 88. 20 years ago. Yeah. Oh, 20 years ago? <laughs> yeah. What the? 
I met them. Oh, t- about- 88 was when you turned 80, 87 was when they started doubling up after doubling the Corpus up. 88. Yeah. yeah. Okay. When I turned 88, they doubled it up. Okay. Yeah. Because when I met you, y'all hadn't been doing it that long. Yeah, it might be longer than 20 years. I, Maybe. Yeah, I can't recall. I have the actual ticket of, of, of the dance hall then. I really? Still, I still have that. Yeah. Really? Yeah, that's awesome. yeah, I got to look at that. It's you need a, to post that on Facebook. It's, a, it's an old, it, The place old was called ticket. Tin Hall. I don't think it exists now. But Where is that at? It was Houston. off of Huffmeister something, oh. way out on 290, yeah. out in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. About 20 years ago, you can imagine. Right. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I still have the ticket, and uh, mm-hmm. it's it's an old, it's an old. Oh, I yeah. have some memorabilia too. But I was scared to day. death, and so was Roger and everybody. <laughs> and there's a, and I'm pretty sure that it sounded awful because <laughs> 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 we never we had never done it before. <laughs> well, it sounds can, great can, now. Can you uh, play Rancho Grande? I cannot. Don't. Uh, yeah, Bill can. Uh, Bill, you lucky dog. Can, can you play can you the play tune guitar? and let him sing? Huh? Can you play guitar? I don't. No. I, that is not no. something I was totally uh, prepared out here. for. <laughs> Maybe. Got to get me back on here, and I'll be ready for that. <laughs> we were gonna put him in the corner just then, like everybody <laughs> else is doing it. <laughs> yeah. Can you sing us a piece? Yeah. I am Mary B. Ay. Había una rancherita que alegre me decía, que alegre me decía, te voy a hacer tus calzones como los que usa el ranchero. Te los comienzo de lana, te los acabo de cuero. En about this time, everybody scream. <laughs> <laughs> In the chorus. And they go, uh, yeah, I'm 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 Everybody starts stomping on that wood floor. That's my Woo, favorite part. Everybody starts shaking. <laughs> it's, it gets crazy. Oh, it's that the best the, when there's a wood floor. <laughs> yeah. The, Y'all the need to do Texas another Cal recording Dara's with the wood making floor. Moves. That would be <laughs> yeah, at Green Hall. I don't know why they don't yeah. do a recording at Green Hall, like an official recording of y'all singing that at Green Hall with the wood floor. Just, I don't think they got internet out there. Just a tip. Y'all there. are doing it this year for Roger's birthday, <laughs> right? They don't have AC. <laughs> they don't have internet out there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, they still take cash only. <laughs> we're still burning in that little stove to stay warm in the winter. Yeah. <laughs> it keeps the whole room warm. It's amazing. Yeah. It it's outstanding. Great. It's warm when you're in there, even in the winter. It because is. there's so many people in there. It's warm. Yeah, oh, yeah. It gets hot. It's yeah, really yeah. warm in the summer. Oh, yeah. We'll try to pretend like they have AC. You just drink a bunch of sangria, you don't feel a thing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad they've got those two cans of cold water there. Yes. Oh, Ooh. yeah. Man. Yeah, the big. Well, I, I love the whole uh, the whole season of Bill kind of thing because you got yeah. a Father's Day, then you got a birthday, then you got like multiple birthday celebrations. So, uh, you know, it, it, it's what a great time of the year. You know what I mean? And, and everybody's in July and the family and. Yeah. We won't give you exact numbers out because it's probably not a good idea. But, you know, nevertheless, a lot of July birthdays, and uh, as well as myself, it's such a great month, and, and it, it, it just tends not to get in the, in the way of a small party. Meaning, if, if your birthday was, say, October, well, you'd have school, you'd have all the parents mm-hmm. telling you they can't make it, I can do that. It's all stuff. Mm-hmm. Well, in July, there's no stuff. So we make the best parties July birthdays do. So yeah. they, they, they do I usually. I agree. <laughs> lean into the hey it's uh, best if you come in a bikini yeah. you know <laughs> it's gonna be hot you know oh yeah you think yeah sure <laughs> it's a it's a whole different conversation try to pull that off in october it's true you know no, and every july every july for me is like oh it's the craigers birthdays are coming up right like, are we gonna be able to make it like because we have five kids so we always have so much stuff going on we try to make it as much as we can but for me I'm always like, when, okay, when is the birthday bash? You know, I'm already looking on the internet in January, and they're like, my husband's like, what? <laughs> it's crazy, because, and, and Kevin Fowler's been doing a lot of local stuff, right? I mean, he was Catfish Festival, I'm not sure, he was also a Mar- uh, the Montgomery County Fair and Rodeo Association had him on for the kickoff party mm-hmm. there. Yeah, and so, he was here for the cat, the, you said the catfish, right? Catfish Festival, that's yes. right. Him and Pat Green, who uh, coincidentally uh, worked with, you, some, someone was, he was mentioning here for the cook-off. his association today. The Houston cook-off, they were all here. I don't know if he did the Houston Livestock Show and Rodeo. Right. He might have. Roger and all As them. a matter of fact, both Corpus Christi and Floors, it's Roger and Kevin. 
Yeah. It's yes. The Dos Borrachos. Yeah. So when did y'all rope Kevin into all of this? Say again? When did you rope Kevin into all of this? Um, I think they released that album in 20, right? 2020, right around Something COVID? like that, yeah. 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 When, when, they Dos wrote, when they wrote that song, uh, Dos, the Dos Borrachos, and they started going to Mexico, bringing folks, that's when they got together, and then people started liking them together. Right, because so they're they, fun. We have been a lot of places together. Well, know? when I met you, it was Fowler Fest, and Roger was playing. <laughs> Fowler Fest. <laughs> I'm serious. I met him. This was 15 years ago. Yeah. I was kind of a new photographer out trying to make a name for myself. I worked for this place called Las Palmas Race Park okay. in Mission, Texas. And I did some freelance stuff for magazines and different things, but they had hired me for that show. It was July in the Valley, so imagine. Mm. I'm wearing mm. a bandana. I'm shorts and a t-shirt and boots because it's hot. I cut my leg backstage and what? I had blood dripping down into my boot. And here comes Bill. I didn't know who he was. He comes running up and he's like, oh, with this towel, this Roger Crager towel. And I'm like, don't use that. He's like, oh, we got plenty of them. I still have that towel. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. See, I little had, acts, had little meet, things, you I, know. I, I, I carry Neosporin with me because it's the best medicine I know of. And we yeah. hit it off, and he danced with me that night, and I met the fam- some of the family, and then he was like, hey, we're going to be in San Antonio, and then I just started following them, and the rest yeah. is history. That's outstanding. And, and we've been following here in Texas. I know a, a lot of fans in Texas for, for the Craig family at large, yeah. the whole thing, you know. And I, I think uh, – People appreciate that sort of thing. We've seen a lot of Texas mm-hmm. bands come and go, and uh, that I wonder where they went. When's their next album? When's next going to happen? I mean, I, I've right. been a, a Texan music fan. We're paying attention. I mean, we we understand when you unplug. You know what I mean? And yeah. and, and it's it's like come on. It's kind of like following a yeah. boxer, and he goes two years without a fight. Mm. You know, it's like yeah. man, come on, fight somebody already. You know, I know you got a <laughs> belt and all. You know, it's like you know, do you want these things to occur? You want these next steps of yeah. action, and and you know, for him, it's like I come out, I bring that belt out for exposure, and I, you know, same thing I guess for an artist. I I, I came off a great album, you know, and I I really want my next one. Do you feel like this might slow production down at all, or like, hey, I did really well, that was so good. How am I going to get better than that? And then just wait till you do, or do you I, just produce what you make? I, I mean, for me, it, it's yeah. There's a lot of pressure. I, I think coming off your first release is is like, you know, you, you're caught between. You know, I want to keep consistent of what my what my sound is like, and then but also I want to stay creative and stay unique. And and so I think that's a lot of the line that a lot of us artists are caught between is like you know I got my sound this is how I'm supposed to sound or this is the way I like and then but also you're trying to stay with the times right yeah, you know and, yeah. and and stay releasing music that is that is enticing to listen to and, and uh, uh, I mean not for me I, I'm gonna my next album is gonna be an acoustic more of an acoustic so it's gonna be a little bit different than what my first album was and so I have five or six songs that are just gonna be kind of a different style mm-hmm. more of a broken down version so it's it just every artist is different, um, but I, I do think that there's a little bit of, uh, you know, not pressure. Maybe that's not the right word, but we, you know, you want to live up to those standards of how you release even your it. own. You, you know what I mean? Your self implied pressures. Exactly. You know, hey, I was really good last time I was out well, there. I, I better be this, really good next time exactly, I show up. Yeah, exactly. yeah. you want to keep that consi- is, consistency. Oh, it's, it's the hardest. Yeah, oh, right. o- other than like, I don't know, fourth grade, third grade. I think that's the next hardest self challenge. You know, I mean. Those third graders, they're mean. I don't know if you deserve third and fourth grade. They're the hardest you ever get. They don't have any problem telling you exactly what they think about you. That is true. No filters. Yeah. Oh, yeah? Where'd you get those shoes? They don't look like they fit you, and those jeans are high waters. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, really? I don't even know your name. You know, it's like, dang, you know, pass by. You know, they're just some kid walking by, high waters. You know, it's like, dang, you know, we don't even know him. You know? Yeah, you think it's hard, but, you know, women don't really ever grow out of that. <laughs> Man, it's so hard. I'm like, this is tough, isn't it? This is a hard neighborhood, you know? Yeah. <laughs> You know, but that's that whole self-criticism, and it's all about perspective. I really do feel like the third grade perspective, the whole world is right there in the third grade. You know, everybody that matters in this planet is sitting in that third grade line that just passed me by. 
you know, and, and it's just not the truth. I mean, there's a whole world out there, and I, I, I believe that you know best, right, when it comes to your music. Uh, honestly, you'll know, you'll be harder on yourself than we will be. And I mean, you'll, you'll listen to more people than you should. You'll, you'll, you'll bring in more influence and advice, you know, advice than most people ever were even offered. Exactly. <laughs> you know, yeah. well, everybody wants to give you advice. Yeah. yeah. So that's, you'll that's truly the know best. Especially you know? you're young. Right. Right. And yeah. yeah you, there's so many opinions and so many, and, and that's just, you know, that's, but that's also the beauty in making art, you know, and, and like creating a song, writing a song is like, you know, it's, it's putting your own self, you know, thoughts into it and, you know, making it sound how you want to sound. And then when you write it with somebody else, you know, bringing in their ideas, it just makes right. it fun. Yeah. It just makes cool. it a whole Do lot Do you of fun. plan on picking up any shows around here? So that's actually, it's a good, good point. I, I actually, yes. The answer is yes. Because I, I would like for you I to. I would <laughs> love to play in Conroe area, Northside, a lot more than I have in the past. So that it's kind of my, the end of 2023 goal is, is to book some new venues that I haven't <laughs> played at in the past, especially on the north side of town. And then, you know. Armando knows. Yeah, people. do you have, a, have you played a lot out here lately? I have not. When's the last time you played in north of Houston? Man, it's been, uh, I played a acoustic show at Sawyer Park over so if there's a rash of these things right. you'll know that something's changed no doubt no okay doubt. good because we'd like to believe in some part we've helped some young people's music I would love careers. to I, would I mean love we'd to. love to believe that like you know, 30 years from now I'm tapping on that the door going hey it's me that dude from Conroe yeah. you know text ticket who you know who's out there what? yeah no uh-uh. I want to know some people. I might know some people. I'd love to play on the lake. Just there's so many spots over here in, in, in the Conroe area. And where, the, so, where can uh, they, they find you to book you? So uh, on all the social medias, uh, okay. you can find me at Mason Crager Music and, and on Facebook, uh, Instagram, all that good stuff. Okay. You have so a phone you, number? Yep. They can call? That, yep, I do. What's your phone number? You want me to give it right here? Whatever on you want them to call. I mean, if it's publicly available if for it's someone pub to call. If you want it public. I want not, it public. You can just give it to Armando. Well, there are gonna be a lot of eighteen-year-old girls calling you. I know they watch this show religiously. So book me seven one three five nine four six seven one seven. I am uh, I didn't like that. Huh? I'm sorry. He, 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 got, he threw me way off. That was hilarious. I am always interested in booking new venues, new events, uh, especially in places I haven't played for. So, so yes. Tell so. me your phone number one more time. 713-594-6717. That is a direct line to Mason Crager. You can shoot me a text. There you give go. me a call. Conroe. Call give him. me give me in Conroe. Papa's baby. on the lake. Papa's on the lake. Please call oh, me. I've messaged you a hundred times. I'll get you a show there. <laughs> yeah, I we'll do. get that set up. We'll get it set yeah, up. We, we, I and, and, and I I think there's a lot of uh of you know, reaching out, there's extra work, extra jobs, and, and you need to think about uh, uh a club owner and all the things on their plate on a daily, no you doubt. know. And no what if it's a club and owner slash restaurant owner? No doubt. What what it just gets deeper, you know, and and so there's a lot of challenges. I know where the entertainment is 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 a must, right? And then it's like to what level? Well, we're gonna do it two nights a week. We should do it seven, you know. And then there's that that battle. Exactly. You're we're not that kind of place. We're only gonna a, do it a couple of nights a week, you know. And, you work. And right. Changes. Yeah. It changes the priority level in the establishment, right? right. So right. as we see, you know, things progress, and the, uh, but I think all of our area has seen these things progress with good well, country music good family style music and good Con conroe's trying to build that here like in the downtown yeah. they're trying to get more music they're trying to make it more you know kind of a hangout spot um so i think it's a great time for you to get in Absolutely. up here and, and make Absolutely. a name for yourself and i will tell you and I'm, I'm not trying to offend anybody out there but you are by far more talented some than some of the people i see play so i well, think that you. You, you have all the talent you just need a lot of promotion. Well, I came for the dinner. I was glad to get some music, Mason. When I, you know, when I go out to eat, you know, or when I go out. But some places uh, label themselves as an entertainment venue. Mm -hmm. Not necessarily. I don't really. They give me burgers and some, uh, uh, you know, fries. You know, and it, right. but. I, I didn't come for that. I'm right. glad they had something. Right. Yeah. There's, the, I can flip the script. Right? And then the other one. Exactly. Yeah. And then the there's other the other. So right. I, I come for the interview. Yeah. We need to have like we food. need to start a Mason Crager fest. But there's yeah. Some, some yeah true that too and and uh, <laughs> we'll we'll share that out there with some of the uh, the local promoters and when they know the people are, you know that are glad to hear the music and it won't take much and they'll start giving yeah. you a buzz. There's a lot of places out here that are uh, uh, that that have introduced live music to their venue or their their restaurant or their. Uh, um, 
bar or whatever the right. venue is right. uh, for different reasons, right? And different days and different times and different different strategies. And some of those are just tactical, but some of those, uh, but they're all in line with what did the people in this community like right. is the same thing that every one of those owners are saying to themselves, well, everybody likes this, mm -hmm. you know, well, let's try to do that. Well, they love some music. You know, they love that country music. Well, you know, that, what are we going to do? That phrase, build it and they will come. Yeah. Build it and they will come. And, and, and I'll, I'll say that there, there's a, um, she's right. We, we've, but we have also seen some amazing talent out here that were, you know, 20 year old guys that are mm -hmm. coming in here with Peyton Howie, Justin Langage, uh, Justin Langage up and coming, uh, Cannon Brand, uh, some really young fellas that are putting out some mm -hmm. amazing country music. A lot. And, uh, and then some some of the older guys that are just new to the scene or whatever new 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 to me I, I guess the Jeff Canada's the uh, he's the greatest um, uh, Jason uh, Allen yeah Jason Allen's great they, he's from New Braunfels he's awesome and, 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 you know awesome. Jason awesome. Jason is he awesome. play, he used to play with Bree in New Braunfels all the time Bree Bagwell. Texas has so much to be and proud of. Man, I mean, they've been they've been playing over here. I'm like, this is awesome. She played with Peyton Howie. That's fabulous. I just I, just, I'm, I miss New Braunfels because of the music, so I'm trying to get them to all come over here. Mm -hmm. So I don't have to drive. I, I, lo I love all the talent. I love <laughs> I, I love that where that place and and you know Texas has always uh, Conroe has kind of always been. They were telling me stories about Willie Nelson selling records down here yep. in the square. You know, he'd sell in his forty fives right here in Conroe. Can you believe and, that? Yeah, I, and they were. I was I get my hair cut at the oldest barber shop in in, in the state of Texas, uh, ongoing operated barber shop in the state of Texas, which I think there's a few clauses in that statement, but about how it is the longest ongoing open. I mean, maybe somebody else right. closed and reopened right. or something. That's a challenger, but nevertheless, people. he knows right um, at, at the barber shop right here, and right across the street was the Gentry store, right was men's fine clothing store and and next door to it was like a a five and dime where red brick tavern is on the square where we all visited earlier and where we plan to attend here shortly that place uh so he would say elvis would come get his hair cut on his barber stool he's got pictures of him cutting his hair right there on the wall and then he said he'd go over to the gentry store and buy a shirt now across at the gentry store is now foss Bet brewery foss brewery says they got pictures on their wall of him buying shirts and, and wares from the gentry store and then he'd go next door to go drink a beer at the the, the pub down there, which is right next door, which is kind of like a like an Ecker Drugs with a bar in it. So I'd have no idea how to do it. So to show, I, I don't know. I, that's out of me. But I know it was there. They all mention it, that place where Red we Brick is. We need to is. take a picture of Mason doing something, like getting his hair cut somewhere, so in like 50 years we can sell it. <laughs> there you go, Mason. You got to let that guy do your hair. Yeah. The fellas over there. So you would say Elvis would do the rounds there. Uh, I, I'd see, I, I saw a lot of musicians doing this kind of roundabout and, uh, and, and, and Conroe as a hub for a good right. reason. It works. Conroe's a good town to get your name out there and get, yeah. and this town appreciates the music and I appreciate you coming. And Bill, happy birthday, my man, hey, thank and you. I am looking forward to uh, what's going down at the Lafleur store. We're gonna we're gonna follow along, and guys, okay. if you throw our name out there a bit, somebody get a photo. Hey, this one's for con for Texas ticket. You know, thank punch you. it. Tag you us. know, punch your Texas ticket. You can certainly punch your Texas ticket on today's show, folks. Uh, guys, thank you for coming. We're going to follow up with you, uh, Mason Kreger, and, and some bookings. We're going to put some contact information down below so you can book Mason Kreger to come out and play for you, guys. Happy birthday. Thank you, man. Happy birthday, Happy birthday, Happy Grandpa. birthday Happy birthday. You man. Guys, thank you for watching Texas. Thank we'll you. be back after this. Turn your radio dial to the Texas ticket. Giving you the news and what's ready. Every Friday, tune into Texas Ticket on Conroe's 104.5 and 106.1 FM with Armando Nino of Go Lake Conroe, focusing on Montgomery County area events and places. Get a feel of the Texas spirit at the event, paired with guest and vendor interviews, event coverage, and ticket giveaways, and so much more. Join us Fridays and punch your Texas ticket. For more information on the show, visit IRLoneStar.com slash Texas Ticket. Welcome back to the Texas Ticket. This is Armando. I'm with Gina Magali Rodriguez. That's right. You've missed me, haven't I have, you? I have. I have. And I know our viewers have. I've been getting a Aww. lot of correspondence. Well, here I am. It's like, where the hell is Gina? <laughs> <laughs> We've been watching your program for three weeks. Well, where's Don't, Gina? If you want to make it four. You know, yes. kind of, a lot yes. of that, you know, okay. some, some small harassment calls. Oh. Gina, I've been thinking. I mean, this isn't Gina. <laughs> oh, sorry. 
Lots you need of that. Gina, la Saints, realtor phone Gina. Calls. I, 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 they keep calling the studio, and we're trying to redirect calls to one property group, and we just yes. sent it to the machine one over property there. Group. That's yeah. the agency. That's correct. Yeah, they, they, we send them direct to your business line. Oh, okay, good. Yeah, so wow. all that correspondence. We've been flowing out there. Yeah. Okay, a, good. A, a steady <laughs> flow of that, which is really odd. But speaking <laughs> Odd, steady flows. Okay. Ooh. <laughs> right. Ooh, wow. But uh, no, we're, we're talking about Tap Truck Outlaws. Woo, Outlaws. Woo. Is it da- Tap Truck Outlaws? Tap, tap Truck, truck Outlaws. Outlaws. That's, That's us. Right. Okay. Okay. <laughs> and and it, you know, I was at, at the other day, we were at uh, um, uh, What's This Tap That? Quirk, quirk This Tap That. Yes. Yes. Yeah. And, yes. and, and mm-hmm. we were visiting with, uh, I, I think uh, it was Constable Cash playing out yes. there. Yes. Just hanging out, yes. though. I don't think he was like the listed <laughs> musician for the evening. No, it was fun. It was really super fun. Super yes. fun. We had a great time. Mm-hmm. And, and it makes me think about um, Texas Tap Outlaws. I don't know why, because you put a Tap Truck Outlaws, because I don't, I, don't, I don't know. Tell, <laughs> tell me. Uh, what What is it that... that, that I, Mobile beer, all that. I mean, the truck can serve more than beer, too. So tell us a little bit about what your base business is. And then we can all tell you how why I'm so confused. And we have Valeria <laughs> and Robin. Yeah. I like to say Valeria. I mean, that's Valerie. It's so beautiful. <laughs> it is. Oh, Robin. I'm so jealous. I am. <laughs> so Tap Truck Outlaws is a mobile bar service. It can be mm. a soda service for kids. It can go to schools. Mm. It can go to any kind of community event. We do a lot of corporate parties, crawfish boils, lots of crawfish boils this year. Wow. And we can put different types of beer on that truck, and it comes out ice, ice cold. Yes. Mm. (laughs) And we have five taps, and we usually do four different types of beer, whatever the customer would like to have on that. And it is a 1959-56 Chevy panel truck. Okay. Wow. Bonnie. And, and Bonnie. 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 Her name okay. Is Bonnie, because we hope to get Clyde one day whenever <laughs> oh, we grow our wow. little. And then you have Bonnie and Clyde. There you yes. go. And we have Bonnie's we hideout, have Bonnie's in, hideout Huntsville. in Huntsville. Yeah. So tell me about awesome. that. What's Bonnie's hideout? Bonnie's Huntsville? hideout is an event venue where we uh, hold our TABC <laughs> license so that <laughs> Bonnie can go out on the road and serve at festivals yeah. and. Street and have parties. nice, yummy beer. Yes. Yes. Cool. Nice cool. <laughs> really good. We did get a Very tasting. Nice. You, you were serving some Yingling, and 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 uh, we were able mm. to uh, visit uh, Bill uh, Kreger for his birthday. Was able to get a little libation there, and and we had uh, a Mason with us in the parking lot, as well as uh, Brittany Glaze, one of our associates and worker with the Texas Ticket and One Property yes. Group. Um, yes. We also had um, Stacy Wins with uh, um, Just for Clicks Photography. Yes. Uh, we had um, a host of folks out there, uh, <laughs> uh, yourself, yes. and Karen the Connector was with us. What a good time, mm-hmm. you know, that's super it fun. Was nice. Yeah, um, and uh, we're, we're, we're going to run four quarters of that, but, you know, I, I think a lot of folks... Um, there's a. I always want to bring beer to every party, right? Uh, right. Is there any party that is it about the volume of beer you sell or about the presence? It's about the experience mm-hmm. that you're getting when we come. Yeah. Um, a lot of people are mm. not sure what it's really about <laughs> until they actually see it working. Mm-hmm. And then uh, a lot of times we do the whole tour of the truck. They want to see how it's working in the back and how it comes out of the side of the truck. So cold. <laughs> <laughs> right. So nice. Yeah. Exactly. It's a. It's an event. So when we come to your event, we create the whole atmosphere and it's show and tell. Is yeah, there a yeah. need for volume or is it just to have fun? Does the, the proprietor, the venue just pay you? Hey, bring us. There's a couple different ways we could do sure. it. So you could, uh, we could, um, if the venue wants to give away uh, their alcohol, you know, you could do it that way. Or we could just do like a cash bar setup as well. Mm-hmm. So in okay. front of Bonnie, we set up a little bar. We could dress your beers and we could do it. It's just really super fun. Super yes, neat. Yes, it's super yeah. fun. Yeah. Have nice. you done any children's events? We have. Yeah, we uh, okay. were all in December doing a bunch. We were obligated with Lone Star Lights and we had, we were serving hot chocolate and oh, uh, apple cider and special. everything. Wow. Oh, cool. The kids love it just as much as the adults. 
I, right. I heard somebody talk about lemonade. Did you do lemonade? We went to Willis uh, Church and we did uh, sodas and lemonade for their. Dang, uh, that's cool. Yes. 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 And so the kids love it. I mean, they just. Oh, so yeah. How that's coming out of the, the adults yeah, love it. I don't. Th- we're yeah, fascinated. I really uh, cool. <laughs> we just ask extra questions like open up the bag. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Everybody, Everybody does. Nice cold How do you do one. That? Everybody does. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How's that coming? Yeah, we've just got a different line of questions. Guests is my curiosity. How many we guests? We can handle. We... Uh, well, we did the Kevin Fowler show at the mm-hmm. Dodge Place in Huntsville, and it was super busy that mm-hmm. night. We have four hundred, uh, four hundred, about four hundred people event coming up, so we can handle uh, whatever size you, you can handle the barachos. You can, you can, you can, you can handle yes, it. You know, yes, yes. And, and and you know uh, that's the, the the just a tie-in to the Dos Barachos. That's Kevin Fowler, Roger Craiger. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes. You know, and they'll be at the LaFleur store and Corpus Christi celebrating Bill Craig's birthday nice. party, which Yay. he was just super cool. Super cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. And, 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 and I know that we're going to chase him like, you know, our guest, he'll be chasing us like a little kid <laughs> running after an ice cream truck with a dollar. It's no, no, I'm coming. You know, I mean, if, do we, if you were yes. to pick a song to play while you drove through <laughs> neighborhoods on Sunday afternoons, mm. you know, Uh-oh. like when dad's barbecuing or cutting grass, mm. you know in order to attract draft beer mm-hmm. sales like an ice cream man would what song would you be playing oh goodness what what song would you be playing mm. <laughs> yes we don't know yeah beer bait mm. beer baiting is that you, yeah beer so, we, we you'd have to get your like Boots you know play your, 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 something your, right your, yeah, your, your uh, uh beer truck playlist together that we way will. well we yeah. actually left our playlist at our venue because we're doing a single night tonight so oh. it's up in the venue so we couldn't roll up with our music playing but you do do that though <laughs> Yes, we have a uh, we do a singo up there, and uh, it's kind of like a bingo music. You got to listen Neat. and name the music. It's super fun, super competitive. competitive. Yes, <laughs> and that then add like a little fun. bit of the alcohol, and it's super fun. You just drink a little we, cold we, beer we, and on Tuesday it. nights. Tuesday, yeah. second Tuesday every month. Second Tuesday every month. I always think about uh, you know that whole beer truck, I, I, like an ice cream man sort of thing. <laughs> I could see myself cutting cutting the grass, and here he comes and. That automatic mower where well, I let go finally. Well, there are some laws we have to keep in, mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah, keep in mind. If it were, if it's it all were. hypothetical. <laughs> I mean, there's not going to be an ice cream. You're wishing beer. that. There's not going to be wishing. a beer truck with music playing through your neighborhood <laughs> waiting for you to chase them down with your dollar mm-hmm. for a draft. Yeah. Right. You know, it's probably not going to happen in, in my lifetime. I mean, yeah, that would be nice. So. What a better world, right? Yeah, I mean, yeah. yeah. I think that that's coming. Be. Yeah, we maybe. Could, we could, we maybe. could, you know, manifest it. We have cool. drive throughs right? <laughs> yes. Oh. We have drive throughs I, I, I can't see how 12 ounces is worse than all it. that sugar those kids are eating. You know, <laughs> if I, right? You know, I, I, I still I'm say, all about it. We yeah. eat 3% alcohol or 80% sugar. Well, we'll get behind sugar, you. You know, <laughs> yes, uh, let's feed the course, children the 80% sugar. I don't know. It, Needs to be more beer trucks running through Walden. I, I, I'll tell you right now. That, I think that's Grand what you're looking Central for. Park something in Walden. A, that's yes. It. Mm-hmm. So we go to a lot of the country. Uh, they have those. The, they're <laughs> not the country clubs, but in the um, oh, like the a clubhouses. Grand yes, oh. we go to a lot of the clubhouses oh. when they have events. Show. Republic Grand. There ain't no houses in Republic Grand so Mansion. Fine. You're just serving the sales staff. <laughs> what are so you talking fine. about? They are. They are all the time in packed. I mean packed. So yeah, and, and, we're open to any of the Garys are friends of mine, yeah. and, and we we love those guys. And young Garys <laughs> my age, so we get along. And, and, and uh, so we we when I go down there, it's them touring and showing. It's not mm-hmm. really. Mm-hmm. They're always oh, there's gonna be food trucks. Well, when and the stuff. tap trucks like, there, I that's go, not the case. Open, I can yes. get whatever I want, <laughs> exactly. But, we so open there. houses, we like to do open mm-hmm. houses, the communities, when they oh, open up their stuff, it's really neat. Mm, that's but, really neat. good one. Yes, yes. But it, it's always, a few coming it, up. It's always like there's no actual, uh, you know, Texas Grand Ranch has done uh, so much so. Same family of, mm-hmm. of production mm-hmm. and development there. The Patent Properties Group have done several properties out here and through the woodlands that are just you don't even know their name. They're just developing and move mm-hmm. on. But they keep in maintenance and they build good stuff where, you know, it's the way it's supposed to be seen and not heard, you know, kind of thing. And uh, uh, so a lot of that happens there. And, and uh, when I've gone out there, it's always just raw dirt. And I, have they really put so many houses out there now? And that yes. 
I know they sold, they're sold. selling everything yes. they yeah, cut. Yeah, it is. There's a lot of model mm-hmm. homes out there right now. Yes. No. Lots. Well, and I know they tour a lot of folks to see the property, and that's out on 1097 West, and that is Republic Grand Ranch. That's Woo-hoo. just a, a little <laughs> east of uh, Willis down the 1097 mm-hmm. route, right past a flashing line on the right-hand side right after Tanyard Road. But let's go. Oh, that was good. Yeah. Good description. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, some good friends oh and, and yeah. some good folks and, 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 and a small community. So we're, we're, mm-hmm. we're, we're and I know we've seen um, uh, Araya, uh, Aranya, uh, the lady that did the uh, Beat Blended Bistro. Yes. I can't remember her name. Yes. Alanya. Is it Alanya? Aran, uh, it was a unique name, a beautiful name, but I cannot yeah. recall. Uh, but yes. A, yes. A blended Bistro. She, yes. she also frequents in that area and mm-hmm. in for Republic Grand Ranch and does a lot of their stuff with those folks. And I know uh, we saw Southern Disposition at the at the Texas Grand mm-hmm. Ranch uh, community get together mm-hmm. out there. So lots of fun stuff. I also saw um, there was like a, a over at the Holiday in Lake Conroe. Uh, it used to be Piney Shores, the old oh, time share resort. Yes, yes. Yeah, they turned that into the Holiday Inn. Mm-hmm. But there was a band that played there last oh, weekend that fun. filled the place. We we heard a lot about that was a good show, wow. yeah. and it was open to the public. So um, oh, cool. how fun! Yeah, mm-hmm. you probably mm-hmm. can walk out there with a timeshare and a new T-shirt. But, you know. <laughs> Well, nevertheless, that's what the I band is. Yeah. Nevertheless, yeah. it's just nice to see them using it as a venue and, and bringing yeah, entertainment yeah. to the community. And that's where we kind of tie in with that is, you know, mm-hmm. you, we could amp up the venue, you know, if there's certain areas. No, you're amping it up already. Right. Amping yeah. it up, yeah. yeah. Right, <laughs> yes. I, I, I love the diversity that, that mm-hmm. it's not all just beer, you know. No, right. And, I think that's really good. And five taps, that's five different you kinds of beer if necessary. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, well, how small does it get? It doesn't matter. As long as you pay the tap, we'll show up. You know, you buy the beer for the tap. Yeah. Yeah, so mm-hmm. no size too small, and 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 nice. obviously you could manpower it up to get bigger. Yeah, I got. Oh a, yeah, we have. I got a, 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 so. a chill diesel next but next door with kegs in it <laughs> to keep replacing them throughout the yes. evening, right? I mean, <laughs> well, at we some can't point, tell you all the st- the secrets of how we keep it. But so at some cool. point, volume is not an <laughs> right? issue. At right. some point, yeah. No. I mean, with five I mean, taps, I, that's a lot. That's a lot. And, and, and then we also bring. Supply, we rotation. also have where you could buy cans. Uh, yeah, we, we set up an area uh, where we on the bigger. And you can rotate events. kegs, right? Mm-hmm. I mean, you could just oh, sit yeah. there and thumb mm-hmm. the kegs out all sure. night long and serve thousands. You yeah, know, uh, no problem. Yeah. For Public Grand Ranch, we went through twenty-five gallons of um, wow margaritas. Mm-hmm. On the rocks. Wow. Mm-hmm. People like margaritas of in Texas. Of course we yeah. do. <laughs> and yes, we, and, and, we do. And, 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 you know, on the some lake people have <laughs> issues with draft yes. beer, right? So they'll always say, oh, well, I like beer, but I don't like draft beer. Right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like well, I, I, I like to experiment with draft beer, but I used to be in that yeah. same exact crowd of folks. But as soon as it's a, it's a, it's a, a, a craft draft, okay. it's, mm-hmm. it becomes a value draft. Mm-hmm. Like if you're gonna serve my common beer, mm-hmm. like Coors Light or something, you know, and it's right. on, it's on tap. Well, it's better in a can. Well, don't tell yeah. viewers they're common. <laughs> don't tell viewers <laughs> they're common. <laughs> but you know, back in the day, it used to be the yeah. soda was better on the fountain than in yep. the can. Yeah, one hundred percent. A hundred percent. You know, and and I want to say that especially root beer. Exactly. <laughs> there, there's some variant to the CO2 and how that works. Do you do? Is there any chemistry involved for you guys? Yes. We have our CO2. secret recipe. <gasps> oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. CO2. Yes. Uh, yeah. And 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 I think that that's definitely a factor in in making a quality beverage. And I know that's where some of the cost may lie and, and things like that. Mm-hmm. But you could tell. You know, mm-hmm. I mean, it's good. Yes. Yeah. And, and we and, teach and, our bartenders how to, you know, work in the back. We always send a bar back to help the bartenders. So mm-hmm. we always give that excellent customer service. And that's what that's what really matters, because we're from a small town community and we like to keep it small town. But then when we want to get big, we still bring that same, you know, uh, interact with us. We want to exactly. talk to you. So yes. that's what cool. the yes. fun part about it is, is meeting that's all lovely. the different people. Yes. Exactly. And there's so many cool events going on around here. Oh, and, amazing uh, events, new, yes. new neighborhoods opening from. Uh, out there in so Plannersville. Many. What was that so neighborhood you many. went and toured out there with that fellow, that, that land out there near uh, Deep Roots Vineyard in Plannersville? Like way out there. <laughs> yeah. What was the name of that land? Oh my gosh, you that put me on the spot. Let me see. There's Hang on, she's, she's been well, on the tap a, truck. She's off work I, now. It's I'm the beer. <laughs> it's the beer. I do not think it's right. But there's so many people out in that region that are really but excited about is, that 249 yes. Expressway. Yes. Mm-hmm. It's that, Magnolia area. That, mm-hmm. that, that causeway mm-hmm. brings it into Plannersville, so it connects yes. that where it didn't before. And and it's all getting cut. I mean, they're oh, putting yeah. new the land Agate out there. The Agate Expressway is just booming like crazy out there. Mm-hmm. It's just growing everywhere, new. really. So what you'll, get, you'll get is a lot of folks working in that <laughs> that that mm-hmm. genre, and and that yeah. you know, hey, let's reasons to celebrate, attract attention, and yeah. you know, when you're talking about the terroir and the, mm-hmm. there are trees you could 
barely wrap your arms around. <laughs> you know, and I, I mean, I've heard all the pitches, you know, and, and they're right. A great terroir, yeah. wonderful trees. You can barely get your arms around. Mm-hmm. You know, great home exactly. sides from, from the mid 20s to the mid 80s. Yeah. You know. yeah, got it. That's you know, true. but, you know, if Roger Kreger and Dos Barajos are playing at oh, that same yes, wonderful yes. tree, I can't put my arms around, you know, I, <laughs> and there's a beer truck underneath it. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Bring your own folding no chair is on the memo, you know. I, we already proved we'll go out there. I mean, all those vineyards out there, Bernhardt and Deep Roots yes, and the Renaissance yes, Festival, yes, they're hosting, yes. you know, hundreds of, yeah. hundreds, if not um, over a million visitors a year out right. in that region. It's just phenomenal. And there's also a really good uh, farm out there. I think it's Jocelyn's Farm, and you could pick st- fresh strawberries out there. So mm. it's really, really nice. Oh, wow. Really nice area. Uh, what is the other one? Uh, P9. P, uh, P9, I think. P9, yeah. P- uh, yeah I think it's yes. called. Yes. Something like yes. that. That's good uh-huh. for, they have a corn maze every corn year. Corn maze. Yes. yes. P- huh. P7, P7 Farms. Farms. Yeah, yeah, P7 there you farms. go. Yeah, there you go. Thank you. Yes. Uh, yes and and thank there, you. there's a, uh, a few of those things out there. But, you know, my, I guess the point is don't judge the book by its cover. I mean, although yes. desolate. And there is not mm-hmm. a lot of stuff. Mm-hmm. But the land is cut. The people are coming. And mm-hmm. they've done it for, like, I think the Renaissance Festival is celebrating yes. its 49th yeah. oh, year. Oh, yes. It's a fantastic festival. 49th year. And it brings about 750,000 people a year out to that event. I know and you're the, getting excited about that one. Whew, can't wait. <laughs> I the know. The king's coming. We've already, already booked his it. spot on the show. <laughs> the king is coming. Yeah, the king of the, the, king of the Renaissance. That's yeah. really cool. Yeah. Super That's cool. cool. A lot of fun. And, and you know, when we talk about a lot of jobs, we're like, you know, that's not real photogenic, you know, or like, <laughs> you know, it's like the plumber, you know, it's yeah. like, wow, quit sending pictures. Really. <laughs> just stop well i want to get more advertising not with these photos you know you know yeah. or the or here comes the concrete guy with another parking lot you know it's like wow yes. beautiful it was an 18 yeah. truck four 17 70. that's right i'm sure it is yeah wow mm-hmm. you know but when we look at things like a tap truck and you know wow how photogenic Very is that unique. the yes, texas renaissance it. festival yes. i can take photos till you're blue in the face yes. that stuff's yes. great eye candy you know yeah. i mean i want to yeah. look at that i want to see that i definitely don't want to see that next piping elbow coming out from <laughs> ubc 1750 you know you get your qrc oh cold it, it just is not that cool you know no, but not, tap but trucks okay. tap man awesome. yeah. you're the coolest y'all yeah. may not even need help with marketing i mean people just like oh bear you know yeah. they, do, what do you think has been most effective for you as far as introducing your program to the community it's mainly been word of mouth and mm-hmm. just uh seeing awesome it. yeah mm-hmm. seeing it people yes. will see us driving around just on the way up here, we got honked at. I don't know how many times. Right. Aww, I know I did. Like, what we do? Love oh, no. it. Oh, I right. know. Right? Oh, I was <laughs> excited. They want to hear. They do. Yeah. I was over at Red Brick, and I was talking to Debbie Glenn, the owner at Red Brick. Wonderful yeah. piece and, over there. Well, she she wants to know how much you want to sell that truck for. Mm. You know, <laughs> well, she better bring a big check. A big <laughs> check. The first thing she asked, I was she was man, I'd love to buy that truck. Yeah. And I was like, well, yeah, it's 1959. <laughs> I mean, I, I don't know. I go to car shows. I say the same thing, like. 122 Fancy. times you know yeah. oh i want that you know oh i want that um, you know but I don't, I don't really do that anywhere else uh, you know I my mean, dad it, does that oh if i won the lottery i would buy that one that one and that one but we don't act that way anywhere else <laughs> no. you know you take us to an antique car show or a great car yeah. show yeah. we're we're way out of our price league and yes. we're talking big and we're wanting to buy everything we might even flip yes. an auction tag you know what i mean but I'm nowhere hey we're not spending any right. money we don't have money for that sort of thing right now you know it's not a good time you know you get a lot of that right or mm-hmm. I don't think we should be spending money on that sort of extras right now. Well, my new handbag is not an extra. You know what I mean? And, you know, we're always on the other oh, side. Yeah. I mean, we live on the other side, mm. except. But that's what Tap Truck does. It brings auctions. that excitement, you know, where you, you don't have to own it, but you could experience it. And that's, right. that's another way of just tapping into that excitement that, that we could bring to an event. Well, I'm experiencing this hundred and plus degree temperature oh, so oh, my shirt yes. didn't look like this yeah, when i, when I started too. this show i mean it didn't i wanted to burn this thing halfway through this episode you oh know my it's 100 something degrees outside well, you know and I, speaking of shirt you're at is that your instagram tap yep. at tap truck yeah, outlaws yeah, so you see, mm-hmm. we're gonna definitely Everything. follow you yes Web- absolutely website website email okay. well we Everything. appreciate you joining mm-hmm. on the libations for the bill for bill and mason and and, no, and, we and wish him a happy roy birthday. added yes. in yes. Yes. very you know, very sweet touch thank yes. you so much for makes you a little here. more texan i think tap that's tap right. truck outlaw is going to punch that ticket right there <laughs> you know <laughs> that's for sure night and ladies i appreciate you coming on the show today thank and you how can they find you and book you for their next event tell tell our audience where to do that they can go to Tap Truck Outlaws at 
uh, gmail.com or at our website, www.taptruckoutlaws.com. Fantastic. Perfect. <laughs> Fantastic. All the socials, Tap Truck Outlaws. Yes. Ladies, where, where, what event do you have lined up coming up next? Anything on we the table? We have Fay and Fantasy uh, <sighs> Festival coming up in Huntsville. There it is. And okay. We have a grand, uh, what we have a grand opening at the RV uh, oh. Two Creeks Crossing in Livingston, Texas mm-hmm. this, nice. Saturday, this Saturday. Tell me yep. that Fay Festival again. What was the that? The Fay and Fa- Fantasy Festival. Fay and Fantasy. And right. Huntsville. And what, when, what day is that? It's on July 14th through the 16th. Yes. Fantastic. Oh, wow. Okay. What's that about? It sounds cool. So I, I, was really gonna end this show. I was about to end the <laughs> yeah, show there. Yeah. but We really art. don't know yet. What? It's an art and music festival. Is yes. it? Yes. Fantastic. Well, there you have it, folks. And that's, a, that's an announcement for us. I, we don't always catch everything going on in Huntsville, <laughs> although San Francisco yeah, State, awesome. all modern. Yes. We, yes. we look forward to catching that. Yeah. And the, the Fave festival can't fan s- fantasy, fan fantasy. <laughs> can't even say it. all you need to remember is tap truck outlaws that's, that's right all I you need to remember to say that Armand. <laughs> just look down. up and follow him yeah ladies let, we're, you, we're, ladies. we're gonna go catch bill for his yes. birthday yes. let's go thank catch you. him thank yes. you for coming thank ladies you. and folks we'll be back right back with uh next week friday at one o'clock for more of the Texas ticket, actually, I think we might take a break for the July uh, July 7th episode. Yes. So catch us the next episode. We'll keep you informed on Facebook.com slash TX Ticket and IRLoneStar.com. Salud. 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 Turn your radio dial to the Texas ticket. Giving you the news and what's really in it. Come on, boys, let's get it.